Hello, lords and ladies. Welcome back to Archaic King's Game Room. Today, I'll be playing a uh, an indie game that I found on, I believe, Itch.io called Nightly Passions. All right, and uh, you might you might notice by uh, the punny title, or perhaps the title of this video, uh, but this isn't an adult game. This is a this is an erotic game. Some might even say this is a porn game. <laughs> uh, and so it sort of raises the question as why I'm playing this. And honestly, uh, I'm playing this because there's not a lot of games out right now that I'm actually ashed enough or excited enough to play. Uh, whereas Nightly Passions uh, actually blew me away. It surprised me. I, I was expecting... I mean, I was expecting an erotic game, obviously. But I also wasn't expecting to enjoy the regular gameplay moments in in this game as opposed to just being in it for like the the sex and so you know that's one reason why i really wanted to play this game on, on my channel now the other question you might be asking is okay well how, you're gonna have to censor it yes i i'm gonna have to censor some of the more erotic moments of the game and the solution for that is, if you want to watch that, the uncensored version, uh, you will probably have to find... I'm probably going to have to upload this to another website where such a thing could go. And, because, like, normally I would think about putting it as a YouTube member video on my main channel, but there, there would still be the sex scenes in it. And I'm pretty sure YouTube wouldn't just, like, demonetize the video, but also I would be worried that they would try to take the video down and even members couldn't watch it. So I'm actually thinking either Patreon or, and this is a hilarious, and it might not work out, but uh, OnlyFans. So, yes, I might start an OnlyFans to put up sexual stuff like this. If that works, uh, you'll you'll obviously have to pay for it to get access to it. But you know, if that's something you're interested in, I'll obviously update you guys in the comments as well as the description whether or not it's on OnlyFans or it's, if it's on Patreon. Um, yeah, even if it's on Patreon, it technically has to be uploaded to another website, anyways. So, at least with OnlyFans, I only have to go one step. I only have to put it on one side. I don't have to put it on a third-party website and then put it on Patreon. Patreon also is very uh, uh, censorship happy when it comes to stuff like this, so even then that's not a guarantee, so. Anyways, enough talking. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start. Uh, I've already played through this version of the game, which I believe is uh, 0.6b. There is a couple other versions out right now, which is, I think the latest one is 0.9, I think, or 0.8. And they recently updated that one as well. But this is the only version I've played thus far. So I feel like it would be better for me to play the one I'm used to than try to go into the one I'm not. Although that one might be more interesting. So we're going to head and start game. Uh, Dear friend, there's a choice in the game on which further developments depend. Each of your actions can play into your hands or vice versa. Don't be afraid to experiment to access new branches of the game. Yours, the Fayetta team. All right, so, yep, there are skill points in this game, guys. Um, so we got battle training, combat training, increases your attack level in combat, and the number of health points of the character. Charisma affects the prices merchants offer you, determines your interactions with other characters, which is pretty important in a game where you're trying to <laughs> have sex, I suppose. Uh, and then there's Hunter's Instinct, which increases agility in combat, affects the amount of rewards received. So. I would, I'm, I'm just gonna put like three in charisma and then like, uh, let's see, do, 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 do. and then put another one in Hunter's Instinct so that we can get more rewards from combat. Um, maybe that'll come back to bite me. I don't remember how I did it in the last one, but well, the last time I played, anyways. Prologue. A bright moon veiled in a misty shroud of clouds floods the small clearing with a pale light. 
The nocturnal forest, stretching for miles in every direction, seems dead. Two silhouettes lurk in the brush at the clearing's edge. How long are we going to sit here? My whole body has gone numb. And these infernal midges. They specifically prey on people who complain a lot. If you quiet down, they'll leave you alone. You always say that. Yes, but you never listen, and insist on grumbling anyway. Look, the moon has already passed its zenith, and begun to set. That's a cue for all the forest animals to seek out glades like this one, to protect themselves from predators. Our trap will definitely work. Uh, just to stop here for a moment. Uh, yes, this game does not have voice acting, so I shall be reading everything. Uh, I find it awkward to do female voices, so they're all going to sound like dudes. So just prepare yourself for that. <laughs> Silence. Sometime later, the grass audibly rustles nearby. After a moment, a small fawn emerges from the undergrowth to wade into the clearing. Two sets of eyes watch intently as the fawn pauses, surveying the surrounding darkness, before cautiously walking towards the trap. However, a few steps short of the trap, the fawn freezes again. Hesitating briefly, it suddenly wheels about and bounds away, disappearing into the trees. Damn! It must have smelled us. We'll have to wait for another one. Are you sure hunting is the right career for you, brother dearest? What's the point of sitting around here all night hoping to catch a few meager scraps of meat? Remember how we haven't eaten three days because your latest idea for a trap turned out to be stupid? Or that now we might starve to death in the middle of the winter? Maybe we should try something else. Oh, of course. Let's just head into the town and start stealing from people to eat. Is that what you want? What's wrong with that? Thieving is a profession, too. Quite a popular one, by the way. Plus, it allows you to eat when you want. Just when fate decides to send you a half-starved rabbit that's caught every disease known to medical science. It also allows you to be the first in line for an appointment with the Executioner. An appointment to make you a head shorter. Hilda, stealing is bad. It isn't fair or right. Thieving is no way to make a living. Goody two-shoes. Those fat cat snobs won't be driven into poverty if we take a little gold or some flour from their barns. They have enough of both for the whole village to so they have enough of both for the whole village to live out their lives comfortably. They all keep hoarding money as if they think they can buy off the Grim Reaper. Meanwhile, their neighbors are starving. Nevertheless, it's their gold, and they have the right to do whatever they want with it. If you're caught, no one will care that you only stole from the rich. You'll be hanged. The end. I don't want that to happen. Are you afraid for your little sister? Of course. That's why I love you. Silence reigns again, broken only by the occasional chirping of crickets. At length, the female figure slowly straightens to her full height, stretching with a sigh of pleasure. I'm tired of sitting here. Brother, let's head into town. It's nearly dawn, and we haven't slept a wink after working on this trap for the entire day. No, we need to give the trap another chance. Otherwise, what will we eat when we wake up hungry? Fine, sit there. I'm going. I'll sharpen the knives to butcher the huge imaginary deer you're going to bag. Abruptly turning away, she wraps her cloak around herself more tightly and starts walking off. Hold on! She reluctantly stops. What now? Here, take this. This gold should help you find a room for the night. I'll try to return with some game as quickly as I can. Okay, I'll be waiting for you at the Drunken Mare Tavern. After hugging her goodbye, you return to your ambush. Your sister departs swiftly for town, and nothing else disturbs the silence of the night. As time passes, you begin to hear sleep siren song. Fatigue and your sleepless night have not left you unaffected. You, st you fight to stay awake, but Morpheus gradually envelops you in his nets and pulls you inexorably deeper into the abyss of dreams. <laughs> Another set of Z's. Oh, we caught some. Awoken by the fierce roar of a beast, you quickly gather yourself and shake off the remnants of sleep springing to your feet. Looking around, you notice a large boar struggling in your trap, deafening the area with its hoarse squeals and furious howls. Picking up your spear, you slay the beast with a single deft thrust to the heart. 
heaving the carcass across your shoulders with difficulty, you make straight for town. Having located a merchant, you sell the boar carcass. Pocketing the modest sum of gold he paid you, you set out for the tavern. Oh man, that guy is shirtless and ripped. <laughs> How can I help you? Hello, which room has the blonde girl taken, if I may ask? What girl? A girl should have come to the tavern earlier, looking for a room for the night. You show the taverner the portrait of your sister. I don't know why I have a portrait of my sister. I mean, my sister is hot in the game, so I don't know. This girl. And who are you exactly? Why should I tell you about this girl? Uh, I'm her relative. Peering at the portrait and taking a close look at you, he eventually resumes speaking. She was here. She came in after midnight with some scoundrel. Some scoundrel? Yeah, I don't know who he was, but he acted strangely. He was silent the whole time, always keeping a sharp lookout as if someone was chasing him. And that face he had. And the girl? She ordered a drink. They both laughed about how cleverly they had done something. She seemed very pleased and a little worn out. Go on. I told her there was no drinks to be had. The tavern's bar had been shut down for over a year. She swore, asking how that could be, arguing. Then she settled down. She started to ask about a room for the night, but didn't have time to finish her question. Some guards, may they rot in hell, burst into the cavern. They arrested both of them without a word and dragged them off. What? Arrested? What for? Where were they taken? I have no idea. Damn it. Try speaking with the locals. They might be able to tell you more. Alright, thanks. Leaving the tower behind, indecision paralyzes you in the middle of the street as you frantically try to figure out what to do next. What have you gotten yourself into this time, Hilda? Chapter 1. In Hot Pursuit of My Hot... I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna keep dwelling on that. Okay, so yay! Gameplay! Gameplay has started. <laughs> uh, honestly, even, even if it's not like one of those fancy AAA games where you actually get to physically walk around. I I kind of like this, right? Like, I like this little layout where you get to select the buildings you want to go to. Obviously, some of them are locked for future games and future developments and whatnot. But I really think it's cute. I think it's cool. I, I, it's nice. So, we got our currency up here. I got a thousand gold. There is a, uh, a day-night cycle. Um, the more you do... Um, time will slip away, so some stuff might not be able to be done if, you know, you might not be able to talk to people like, oh, you know, you want to talk to somebody at the monastery. Oh, it's nighttime, they're asleep, so you gotta come back in the morning. Uh, there is a map, uh, we can hit that. Um, obviously there's only the slums that we can visit right now, uh, and the Enchanted Forest, but we can't really go to the Enchanted Forest right now. We do have an inventory, we have our, our, uh, armor, our leather armor right here. We have a picture of our sister. This portrait was made by one of my sister's fans. Nice guy. Oh, so that's why we have a picture of our sister, uh, because a fan of hers drew it. He, he did a really good job. This is a really cute image. Um, and then our skills are right here, so you can see where we already put our skill points into. Um, this is our journal, so we can look at our quest list. These are the ones we have completed, which we have not yet, obviously, so we got our main quest, find your sister. My sister disappeared, the locals might be able to help me find her. Uh, I should talk to these people about my sister. This is what I probably, I think I missed the first time I did this, because I just started looking around. So we need to talk to the nuns, the executioner, the drunkard, old man at the market, arms dealer, guards at the governor's mansion. Uh, and those will probably tell us where we need to go. So let us see, let's go to the monastery and talk to them and see if we can find our sister. You enter the monastery. Stretching before your eyes is a large hall with two rows of wide benches and stained glass windows. Sunbeams, causing the colorful panes to shimmer. Three nuns with mournful faces stand at the altar, whispering. Sensing that something is amiss, you head towards them. The nuns fall silent as you approach them, shooting wary looks at you. And boom. Hot nuns. Is there anything better? <laughs> Anyways, uh, good day to you, sisters. What a trio of girls. So he shared my he shared my thoughts. Nice weather today, isn't it? The nuns cautiously look at each other, murmuring among themselves before nodding their heads. Tell me, my dears, have any of you happened to see this girl? You hold out your sister's portrait for their inspection. 
Studying it, the nuns shrug. They're awfully quiet. Perhaps something's happened. Why is the monastery so empty? Where's your congregation? What, are you that bored without a sermon to hear? Maybe today's our day off. Having said that, the brunette nun catches a meaningful look from the blonde. Sister, how can you be so rude to a stranger? Please forgive her, Valiant Hunter. She doesn't mean any harm. There are no parishioners here because today's service was cancelled. The news galvanizes you into action. Cancelled? What's wrong? And what does the abbot have to say about all this? One of the nuns covers her faces with her hand. Covers her face, she doesn't have multiple. Covers her face with her hands, and her shoulders shake with quiet crying. Another, lun another nun lowers her head. The third looking at you answers softly. That's the problem. The abbot... He's disappeared. Disappeared? How? Where to? We don't know. He vanished two days ago and we haven't seen him since. That's to say, he went somewhere and didn't return? It looks that way. But we don't know anything with certainty. We're just trying to hold on and avoid frightening the parishioners. What do we do now? For starters, try to calm down. You last saw him here the day before yesterday? Yes. Alright, I guess I'm going to offer to help. Alright, I'll try to help you. The blonde nun's a lot... The blonde nun's eyes light up with hope. Can't talk today. Really? Of course. Without preaching around me, I start getting colic. I can't let that happen. The nun smiles timidly to show that she appreciates your attempt to joke and cheer her up. Good. We'd be so grateful. See you soon. So, much like any true RPG experience, you can't just find what you're looking for. You have to be distracted by a billion quests. So in our search for our sister, we are obviously now looking for the missing abbot. Um, so these are the nuns. And see, we've already wasted the, the, the morning. Now it's day, and that's night. So their time passes as you do shit. Um, now obviously because our, the main quest of this game seems to be finding our sister, it makes sense that we're not going to be making a ton of progress on that front. Uh, at first, anyways. So, let's go ahead and... Let's see. What was it? Monastery Passions. I've agreed to help the nuns find the abbot. Perhaps some of the locals know something. Um, let's see. We've already talked to the nuns. We still need to talk to the executioner. Alright. Let's go there. He's at the gallows, obviously. As you make your way towards the executioner, you hear a female voice raised in indignation. Slowing down, you study the scene unfolding before you. I want you to accept gold! cries an agitated young woman. You know what the price is, the executioner coldly replies. Your eyes follow the figure of the executioner's retreating visitor until the exasperated voice of the executioner distracts you. What do you want? I see that you're quite popular with the townswomen. Look, if this is about some visit your wife paid me, don't blame me. I didn't ask her to come. Looking you over. Hmm, wait a minute. You wouldn't happen to have a sister, would you? What gives you that idea? It's just, you look painfully similar to someone. To this girl? You hold out the drawing of your sister to the executioner. The executioner studies the drawing very carefully. Exactly. So, she's your sister after all, huh? How funny. Do you know anything about her? A little. I've only seen her once, but it was a very memorable occasion. Could I get the details from you? Thoughtfully. Thing is, information is far too valuable to simply be given away. So if you want any of mine, you'll have to do something for me first. And I take it your information about my sister will actually be useful? You ask dubiously. No doubt about it. Fine. What must I do? My axe is on its last legs, but I can't go shopping for a new one. If the governor sees that I'm away from my post, he'll personally give me a taste of my own axe. Please get me a new one. All right. I'll do my best to help you out. Ah, uh, fetch quest. Gotta love him. Alright, so he needs a new axe. Uh, I believe we could find that perhaps at the marketplace. Perhaps from this girl right here. The trader. Very cute. I like her. <laughs> How can I help? Let's see. Talk. We can ask about my sister. Might as well. Over here. And we, all, we can also ask about the, the abbot. Do you know anything about this girl? You hand her your sister's portrait. She closely examined the drawn face. Never seen her? Well, thanks anyway. Alright, that was a dead end, so let's ask about the abbot. 
I'm looking for the abbot. Do you know where he is? In the church, of course. Huh. <laughs> He's not there. Left a couple of days ago and still hasn't come back. Huh. Did you ask the nuns? I'm looking for him by their request. I'm afraid I can't help. Haven't heard anything about his disappearance. Alright, thanks. All right, so that was pointless. Let's see. Talk about trading. How's the trade going? It's clearly not my day. Is there anything you need? I wouldn't mind a good suit of armor. No, okay, never mind. We actually have to go in. Okay, let's see what she has. There's the axe. And we can also buy replace uh, new armor and whatnot. Like, I think we have, like, leather boots. But we can also buy heavy leather boots. Although, actually, hold on. Why is the heavy leather boots increase defense by one? Whereas the leather boots increase our defense by two. That's either a mistake or something I am not picking up on. Because it's, it's normal here. Iron, sturdy iron. Heavy leather? Leather. I, I don't know. Okay. Anywho, uh, the Executioner's Axe. A heavy, sharp axe with a long wooden blade. 646 gold. Oh, shit. That's a lot of money. But we need it. So 350 gold. 354 gold is what we get left with. Uh, while we're here... Old man at the market. Let's go ahead and talk to him. He's right here. What do you want? Just want to talk, old man. Ooh, we got a lot to talk about. <laughs> Ask about sister. Hey, Greybeard, have you seen this maiden by any chance? You handed him your sister's portrait. The old man took a look at it and shook his head. Sorry, tis the first time I see her. Okay, what about the abbot? Ultramer, have you seen the Holy Father walking around here recently? Hmm. No, he's a rare sight outside the walls of his monastery. Why do you ask? Have you accumulated many sins? Yeah, they interfere with my sleep. Actually, I don't know how to cleanse myself of them now. Why is that? Well, the priest apparently decided to go on vacation, without telling a soul. What do you mean? He's gone. Today's service has been cancelled and the nuns are beside themselves with worry. The merchant smirks slyly at something, but your questioning look goes unanswered. This is bad. Without the monastery, the town will become completely... We need to find him. Agreed. But nobody knows where he went. No one has seen him. The witch can help you. Try to persuade her to find the abbot with a spell. It'd be a piece of cake for her. That's not a bad idea, but... Where can I find her? In the forest. The merchant begins to explain how to find the witch, marking your hut on your map. You listen closely, trying to memorize his every word. And after turning down this path, you'll reach your hut. Did you get all that? New location available. The witch's hut. Yep. Well, thank you, old-timer. May the angels preserve you, hunter. And we need to go back in, because there's still some shit we can ask him. Uh, we can ask him about the witch, I, I guess, but what what more could he say? Okay. Hey, old man, what do you know about the witch? The hut in the forest? Uh, yeah, a witch lives there, right? That's right. She appeared here about two years ago, together with her apprentices. They first occupied one of the houses on the outskirts of town, but then something happened. No idea what, but it must have been something big. So the disciples stopped being disciples, and left her, and somehow joined the monastery. The witch left the town, and settled in the town. Seems contradictory. I think they mean the witch left the town and settled in the forest. Why did they come here in the first place? As far as I know, witches don't like traveling. Hmm. Huh. Maybe they're running for something. Don't know. Ask the witch. Thanks. Okay, ask about the executioner. Hey, old man, what do you know about the executioner? <laughs> Crazy little guy. The town's pretty peaceful, so he doesn't have much work to do. So he's bored all the time. Why doesn't he find something else to do then? <laughs> well, he does have a uh, hobby. People say that unhappy wives come to him asking to add their husbands to his list. But he doesn't do it for free, and he doesn't accept gold. So what does he accept? Ask someone. I'm sure every wife in this town knows. That paints a really bad picture of this town, doesn't it? It's like, if every wife in this town knows, either they're just aware of it, like some of them are aware of it, and some are actively, like, fucking the executioner, or, like, every wife in this town is completely unfaithful. Which is hard to believe, if, if true. Hmm. Every wife? Yeah, they all have reasons to want revenge on their husbands. The butcher must know quite a few secrets of this town. My god, what is with this town? All the women want to kill their husbands? That's crazy. Okay, ask about the monastery. What's the deal with the local monastery? Isn't it a bit small for a town like this? Not that popular. What's the point of having a bigger one? 
But there's just an abbot and three nuns. Is that really enough? Quite so. Before the nuns came, the abbot was doing just fine alone. So essentially, he just took them in when they had nowhere else to go. Took them in? Yes, they used to be the witch's apprentice. When they left her, they had no home anymore. So they came to him and are now helping him in exchange for a roof. Got it. Thanks. Ask about the weapons trader. Yes, there is a lot of text in this game. If that's not your thing, feel free to click away. And we are a bit like 20, 20 minutes into the game and obviously no sex. I, I, I get it, guys. I get it. You want the good stuff. We'll get there. I was surprised by it myself. I was like, dang, I've been playing for like half an hour. And there's, there's no sex yet. But there is. We'll get to it. Don't know about it uh, in this video, but I'll try to keep going until we get to a scene so you guys will know if there's anything you want to, you know, if, if you want to actually pay money to view the uncensored video or uh, or even play the game yourself. What can you tell me about the weapons trader? Nice girl. I've never seen her get distracted by something when working. Very kind and cute one she is. And she sells weapons? You have to make a living somehow. Her father's a blacksmith and spends whole days next to the forge. Her mother died, so she's got to support her father on her own. Hmm, why doesn't she marry someone? No candidates? More than enough candidates. Hordes of them. But she rejects each and every one. Why so? Well, I have an idea. I've seen her a couple times next to her house, flower in hand and tears in eyes. Maybe she's grieving for her mother, but maybe for another loved one. Any idea who that could be? None. Thanks. And then I guess we can ask about the tavern owner. What can you say about the tavern owner? Loves arguing, brawling, and drinking. But to be fair, I haven't seen him drunk in a while. He also offers beds. You aren't a local, so don't forget about that. Is that that? Is it that noticeable? Nods. You're right. A place to sleep at wouldn't hurt. Who knows how long I'll have to stay here. Thanks for the information. Okay, so he also has stuff we can trade for. He sells fruits uh, and stuff that we could use to heal ourselves, but I don't think we need anything right now. We might come back to him. Uh, okay, so um, I need to bring him an axe. We still need to go to the forest to talk to the witch. We still need to talk to the drunkard and the guards at the governor's mansion. Let's go ahead and go back to the gallows since we already have the axe. We might as well drop it off. You hand the axe to the executioner. Now, tell me what you know about my sister. Quest completed, your reward, plus one skill point. Listen carefully. I saw two guards taking her somewhere one night. She was mouthing off to them, and then she broke free of them and bolted. I didn't see whether they managed to catch up to her, but the guards were clearly furious. What did she do? Honestly, I don't even know. Thanks for the information. The executioner keeps quiet. Evidently suspecting you of complicity in some nefarious deed. Look at him giving us a side eye. Okay, um... Governor's Mansion, I suppose we could head to next. Oh, there's a guy right there. Passing by the house of the city governor, you became a witness to an unpleasant sight. A short, fair-haired boy was standing at the entrance, talking to one of the guards. The latter trying to wave him off impatiently. But I... Get lost. What's the matter, dear sires? Yeah, there's all kinds of ragamuffins wandering around. They all need to see the governor, you see. Why don't you let them in? Do you think we're standing here as decorations? We have orders not to let any ragamuffin in. He looks like a real tramp. Why would, he, why would he want to see the governor? I need to turn around and get out of here before I give you a boost. He tapped the spear hilt threateningly. Yes, indeed. What a leader of the people. The kid looked at the guard, then at you. Apparently having something in mind, he turned around. Alright, let's see if we can actually get in. Probably not if that other kid got thrown away. No entrance. Oh, let's talk about that. Let's ask him about my sister. I wanted to ask whether you've seen this girl around lately. You handed him your sister's portrait. Why do you ask? I really need to find her. Don't waste your time. You won't. She's hidden so good, no one will find her ever. Where is she? What happened to her? She was hurt. She's not here. Get lost. Hmm, seems like they know something. Pretty obviously they do. Um, okay, so the drunkard is at the well, if I remember. Yes, yes he is. What you want? Well, I just want to talk. Ask about my sister. Have you seen her by any chance? Carefully examining the portrait. N no. Though, 
I'll tell everything I know for 30 coins. Uh, let's see if we can convince him. I think we have enough uh, points in that to do that. Listen, this is my sister. If you were looking for your relatives, I'd have told you everything I knew. The drunk seemed to take your words to heart. Tell me, what do you know? I was taking a stroll through the night town recently when I saw two people running away from the guards. The latter were shouting thieves at the former. The girl knocked me over with all her might. I think she looks similar to the one on your picture. You sure? Absolutely. That's all I know. Not much. But well, thanks. Not much information. I don't think there's anything we can ask the blacksmith, though. I think we can... Yeah, we can't talk to him. And I don't think we can craft items just yet. Okay, so... We've talked to everybody, so... That's done, I imagine. Yeah, that's quest four, right? No, that's... That was something else. So, yeah, let's go ahead and head into the forest. Where's my map? There's a witch's hut. Let's head there. As you slowly walk to the witch's hut, you contemplate what you can offer her as payment if she refuses to help you for free. Nothing worthwhile comes to mind, and upon reaching the door of the hut, you automatically raise your fist to knock. Oh, yes. Oh, it's... This is going to be the first sex scene, and I don't know. It's really funny. Oh, my God. Okay. Unintelligible moans and cries are audible from behind the door. Yeah, there's a sex scene. Uh, if you're watching the uncensored version, yeah. I love how they're like, hey, this is, a, this is an erotic game. And this is the first scene that we get of actual, like, sex. It's probably not something most of any of us are like yeah yeah this is good you burst into the house and take in a remarkable scene two rolled up carpets lie on the bed the abbot is embracing the first carpet and fucking the second so if you're not seeing the image i am painting you a colorful picture three steps away from the bed the witch sits in a chair her legs crossed a violet orb hovers above her right palm shimmering She's a really attractive witch. I don't know. I got something for witches. It might have to do with Dragon Age. I can't. I can't. I can't confirm or deny that. The witch moves her fingers slightly as if playing with the ball, and it dutifully rises and descends in time with her movements. The abbot, having noticed you, freezes, staring shamefacedly at you. What's the meaning of this? Uh, I'll come back later. I think not. The witch snaps her fingers and you instantaneously feel your legs lock in place. When you look down at them in panic, you see that they're all right. Your boots and pants are in place, but you still can't even wiggle your toes. Suddenly, everything falls totally silent. Looking around, you notice that the world around you seems to be frozen. Two meters in front of you, a beetle is suspended in mid-flight. Its wings spread. To the side, a feather hangs a hair's breadth above the floor, locked in place a fraction of a second before impact. You've come here at a very bad time. Yes, but I just realized you can speak and sign relief. Um, hmm. Tell the truth, make something up. Let me see. Uh, I would probably want to save. I have an empty slot here. I will have to censor the empty... I will have to censor the save screen because uh, there is a sex scene right there. So, yeah. I, I can't remember if making something up leads us into trouble. I think telling the truth leads to something. In, uh, let's, let's make something up. How was I supposed to... How was I supposed to know not to come here? I saw a hut and thought I'd stop by to ask for some water. If only a sign saying do not enter had been posted. The witch, who was already raising her hand in your direction, stops, lost in thought. Your words appear to have made her faintly ashamed. Do you know who I am? Hmm, a beautiful woman with proud eyes and boundless self-assurance? Perhaps the daughter of a king or an emperor? Such traits run in their blood. Oh, he is... <laughs> he's good. The witch makes a wry face, but her countenance infinitesimally softens. After all, everyone likes compliments. Yes, well, before you stands a powerful sorceress. Whoa. During my childhood, my parents told me a lot of fairy tales about wizards and sorceresses. My mother used to say that they're the mightiest of us all. But luckily for me, I've never met one before, and I've never wanted to. She chuckles. Frightened? Of course not. But I'm not interested in testing my strength against you. Hmm. My, you're a brave one. You're quite right. Such a fight would not end well for you at all. I'm going to let you go now. 
But if you tell anyone what you've seen here, I will hunt you down, and I respect other people's privacy. I'll keep your secret. If the old man loves that carpet, well, let him love it. It's none of my business. He doesn't love the carpet. You see a carpet. He sees something else. And what would that be? Two carpets? A woman. A naked one. Savvy? Ah, so that's it. You can imagine it. We might as well imagine it, guys. Uh, for the people who are watching this on uh, YouTube, you will not be able to see it, but I shall. Ah, interesting. Very nice, very nice. So, she addled his mind and made him think that she's lying on the bed instead of the carpet. That's serious magic. Perhaps it truly is better not to tell anyone about this. If word of this made it back to the Holy Father, he'd surely hang himself out of shame. Can witches really do that sort of thing? We can. But to what end? That's none of your business. Now, get out of my sight before I change my mind. And remember, not a word to anyone. The witch waves her hand. Birds are suddenly chirping around you and you hear leaves and branches rustling in the wind. You shudder, realizing that you're somehow already staying outside the hut, which is barely visible a hundred yards away. Cautiously trying to move your feet, you breathe a sigh of relief. So yeah, that was our first experience with the witch. It will not be our last. And yeah, uh, that was an interesting experience. For, for those of you watching The Uncensored, uh, that is m m but a taste. But a taste of what this game has to offer. And that's not even like the best one. That's like kind of weird. Like that's not even that great because you're watching like some old man do a, a do a, a carpet uh, or what he th sees as the witch. So, but there's better sex scenes, I promise you. Okay, so... I saw the abbot, he was fucking a carpet. The witch's gained control of his mind. I think I should rest somewhere before going to the witch's hut a little later. Okay, so we are going to have to pass some time. I don't think there's any other quests that we can do to occupy our time, so we might as well go back to the tavern. Let's talk to this hot guy. Welcome to the Drunken Mayor Tavern. How may I help? You don't happen to have an empty room, do you? I'm not from around here, and I think I'm stuck here for a long while. I bet the sleep-in is nice, yes. But we only talk about that when you return with a bottle of strong wine. Wine? But you're the owner of a tavern. Do you have no wine? I'm sick of this brew. I want something special. Where would I get that? Try asking the merchants. If you manage, we'll talk about your overnight stay. His smile's a bit too sly for my liking. Deal. Okay, so we gotta get another little fetch quest thing going on, so... We need to find him some wine, so let's go to the marketplace. We can go ahead and ask the old man. I assume he would have some wine. He has some fruits and stuff, so... What do you want? Let's talk. Ask about wine. Old man, is there any wine on sale? No. People usually go to the tavern for wine. Well, I've been there already. So what? Didn't find one you wanted? No, we need a special one. Oh, I thought the game froze. And how special is the wine that interests you? Just enough to satisfy the innkeeper. What? No, he doesn't drink. Last time he did. He doesn't drink. The trader screamed in fright. Uh, let's convince him, but I don't think we actually have enough. Okay, um... I don't think we can exit out of this, unfortunately, so... I mean, we can try to negotiate or we can offer him 50 coins. Let's see if we can negotiate, and if that fails, maybe we can go back in? Let me see. Old man, I don't think I can find a place to sleep anywhere tonight. Or anywhere else. And it will soon be dark. Well, okay. Just make sure he doesn't drink anymore. Last time it took a week to repair everything. He entered a rage. He did a lot of bad things. If he goes wild again, it's all on your conscience. Okay. The wine he wants can only be attained from one place. Talk to the guard at the gate to the governor's house. Rumor has it that he steals wine from his stock and sells it to the locals. Whether it's just a rumor or not, I don't know. But it's definitely worth asking. Thank you, old man. That was odd in that there was three ways to do that. And one of them was just like, we convinced him. Like, without having to up our, uh, our stats or whatever. So I'll put another one into Charisma for that. Um, but that's kind of weird. I don't know why that's... Uh, it's like, hey, you want to use your skill point? Do you want to send him gold? Or why not just do it and not have to worry about it? Like, maybe we could have failed, but I don't know. Maybe that's fixed in a later version, but I, I thought that was kind of weird. Like, it shouldn't give you that option. 
otherwise. Like, you, you should either have to spend your skill point or, um, or use your skills or spend gold. It shouldn't be, like, a third option, in my opinion. Although it helped us in this instance, anyways. Greetings to the Minister of Calm. Silence is what you get in response. The guard looks strictly in front of him. You take it one step further. Stop. Not a step further. Oh, sure. I, I didn't want... What do you want? You've come to spy, I suppose. Not yet. Thanks for the idea, though. The guard's face changed and he looked at you with concern. A joke. I came to you, personally. To me? I've heard that you have first-class wine. Tss. Who told you that? Is it important? Don't worry. No one will know about this. So what about the wine? It's not cheap. I'm willing to pay. Hmm. I see. Okay. Wait a bit. I'll be back soon. Oh god. Crap. I forgot that we had to pay for it. A few minutes later, he returned with a bottle in his hand. Here is your wine. Oh, okay. We can afford that. A hundred gold coins. And not a word to anyone. Received high quality beer. It's supposed to be wine. I don't know if that's an error or what. Uh, you count the gold, deftly brushing it from your palm. The guard again stood silently at his post, no longer noticing you. Okay, we got the wine, weirdly labeled beer. Let's head back to the tavern. Welcome to the Drunken Mayor Tavern. How may I help? Ah, it's you. Do you have the wine? Sure, here you go. You got it. I'm glad to have such a guest. Come on in. You know, wine helps me relax best, relax best now. I really wanted you to leave as soon as possible. And if the merchants found out you were looking for wine for me, you'd be in some deep shit. Yeah, the old man panicked when I told him the wine was for you. <laughs> I didn't expect anyone to help you get it. But since I got it, will you help me with the room? Yes, I will. Usually the fee is hourly, but tonight is free. Consider it gratitude for the drink. Oh, yes, there haven't been many guests lately. He hesitated, not wanting to say that there weren't any at all. But there's still lots of work to do. I'll give you something to do sometime, if the chance comes up. Agreed. By the way, the old man asked me to watch you, so you don't get rowdy. Oh yes, there were moments, but they aren't because of the wine. I experimented on my moonshine. Regarding overnight stay, the rooms are upstairs. Yours is the last one down the hall. Go. Alright, we finished that quest. And he's... Um, <laughs> the tavern owner immediately empties the bottle that you brought. After a dozen minutes, you leave him alone, fast asleep on the table. So yeah, that's funny. Uh, you climb the stairs. Walking down the corridor, you open the door at the far end. Your room is very cozy. As soon as your head hits your pillow, you promptly fall asleep. Now you have access, now you have access to an hourglass button, which will be located at the bottom right on the main locations. By clicking on it, your main character will skip six hours of game time. This way, you will not need to constantly pay for an overnight stay. Um. But I think the downside is you fall asleep like wherever you are and stuff can get stolen from you. Maybe this isn't the case in like different locations perhaps, but that's all I know in this version. When you woke up, you dressed and walked slowly down the stairs. Wake yet? Well, how do you like the room? It's fine, thank you. I'm glad you liked it. Satisfied customers are always a good thing. Unless of course there's some devils. Haha. <laughs> you smiled. What about that girl? Did you find her? Not yet. Strange. It's as if she had fallen through the ground. She must be in big trouble if the guards came after her. You nodded understandably. I don't want to mess with these bastards anymore, even though I'd like to punch most of them in the face. What for? These beasts have nearly destroyed my tavern three times already. Wow. So I'd be on my guard around guards if I were you. How about a little exercise in the backyard? And here's some training. This will get us into the combat, I guess. That wouldn't be bad. Great, follow me. You go out to the backyard. The tavern owner has placed a dummy in front of you. Listen carefully. This is you and your opponent. I was about to explain the combat, but I think he's about to. You, like your enemy, your enemy, have a health bar. Your task is to lower the enemy's health to zero. The shield icon above the opponent indicates that they will defend himself in the next turn. The number indicates exactly how much damage will be repelled. Pay attention to your stamina. The more stamina points you have, the more actions you can take per turn. And these are your skill cards. Each turn, you will have six cards from the deck in your hand. You will discover a lot of skills. Remember, each skill is unique and has its own purpose. You decide for yourself what to do on each turn, attack, or defend. In order to apply a card, you need to click on it, and then choose who to apply it to. 
you can play several cards in one turn. At the beginning of each turn, your cards are replenished until there are, until there are exactly six of them. Each skill requires a certain. Oop! Didn't mean to click that. Each skill re requires a certain number of stamina points. Your deck contains all the cards that you are able to find during your adventures. Don't worry, your cards will never run out because all the cards you play are shuffled and dealt again. After you finish your turn, you must press the Hourglass button. Then it's your opponent's move. You can always replenish your health during the battle. Don't forget to keep it in check. If you're not confident in your abilities, or you see that the opponent is stronger than you, the Escape button will help you avoid defeat. I guess that's all I wanted to tell you. Now destroy this Scarecrow. So yeah, uh, he basically explained it better than I think I could. These are the... It, it, it kind of like reminds me of like Kingdom Hearts a little bit, in that you attack with different like cards and stuff like that. Or even that more recent uh, Square Enix game that includes cards. So, yeah. Uh, one thing that I will note is that I used to be, like, go heavy. Like, I would be, like, I would attack one turn, and then I would, like, defend a bunch of times the next turn. But that's not something you have to necessarily do. You Instead, it's better to be, like, okay, so you got three stamina points, so one, right? That'll do four damage. So, we do that. Boom. That does four damage. Boom. And then we could end our turn. We could play this and put it to us. Defend uh, for one turn plus three defense. But he's going to defend the next turn. So we really don't need to do that. But that's something to keep in mind when you play the game. Is it's often good to end. Like you do like two cards of attack. And then end with a defense one. So boom. Like we could do that. I didn't mean to do that i don't know why i did but anywho that's what we could do so he defends see so i messed up so he's going to defend again the next turn so remember this symbol means what he's going to do on the next turn so if he's doing this then you could just straight up go on all go all in on attacking him um but if he's going to attack the next turn it might be better for you to defend not bad well let's go and we didn't get shit from that. But that at least taught us the uh, the game mechanics. You went back to the tavern. By the way, I was meaning to ask you. How do you all even live here? What do you mean? You have an enchanted forest next door. As far as I know, that is not a safe place. Well, what can we do? There are enough damn places everywhere. The locals are used to it. And they don't really go there. And no one comes to you from there? There seems to be enough evil spirits. And the animals there are quite unfriendly too. The nearby boy frowned contemptuously at the last part. Coming a bit closer, he started to speak. Where in the world did you see friendly animals? Alright, I'll leave for a while. I need to get some firewood. Cold evenings these days. You both watch as the innkeeper steps out to the backyard. Actually, decent people don't eavesdrop. The boy was embarrassed. A shame-faced blush suffused his face. Yes, I'm sorry. Trying to smooth over the awkwardness. Okay, I get it. These guards will spoil anyone's moods. To hell with the guards. This is different. I'm afraid to even guess. You waited, showing that you were eager to help. The kid looked at you a few times and sighed and spoke. Our town isn't bad, you know. Quiet, calm, everyone watches out for each other. Yes, but there is nowhere really to get a job here. Poor neighborhood. And in order to get to another area, you need a pass, which I managed to lose on the first day I got it. So I have to hang around here. And my employer here, to put it mildly, is... Harsh? No, but too much of a hard worker. He plows through his work without a break, and does not let me lag behind either. But sometimes when I have to go out on personal business, he doesn't meet me halfway, and that business is important to me. Well, I would explain it to him. The boy shook his head. You've noted to yourself that as a person, you like him. Honest, simple, quite carefree, and kind of cute. That's just my uh, viewpoint there. Although he does not give up when facing difficulties and complaints about the employer or rather something like a ritual. Are they even loved anywhere? He won't understand. Will you share it? Maybe I'll understand. He smiled, suspecting a joke, but you made a serious face with a hint of amusement. Then he thought about it, looking at you in a different, appraising way. Maybe. Oh, what the hell. Anyway, here's the thing. There's a lady in this town, and I've been thinking about how to approach her for a long time. And I couldn't think of anything better than to give her a flower. A flower? One? One. But a special one. It's the rarest flower, Polaris. 
It grows only where a native of hell was killed. Wow. Well then, you've got yourself in trouble, boy. Where would you find such a flower? He said nothing, looking at you slyly. What? You know where to find one? Come on. Why does it surprise you? Once upon a time, the city was well acquainted with black magic and made inquiries. So there's a flower like that nearby? Yes, there is. And I'll be able to thank you properly if you get it as soon as possible. He smiled knowingly, all for the sake of a lady after all. Alright, I'll help you. Where is this place? In the Enchanted Forest. Hmm. Well, you know, rumors say... The guy waved your concerns away. I know the rumors. That the forest is full of monsters and beasts, and that no one can get out of it alive, right? Is it not? Well, how to put it. I lived there for a week before I came to town. That's when I found the flower. If I'd known who I'd find here, I would have grabbed it back then. His face was sad. The guy was clearly reproaching himself for not picking the flower. So, there's no one in the forest, really? Well, it wouldn't be fair to lie, since you were so generous to help. The forest isn't empty, but the rumors exaggerate greatly. Personally, I encountered no trouble there and didn't hear or see anything too frightening. Hmm. Don't worry, if I survive without any weapons, you will definitely make everyone hide there with such a sword. Alright. Where is the place? Do you have a map? I'll show you. You unfold the map in front of him and the guy bent over it thoughtfully and began to trace it with his finger. Here. You have to get here. This is where I saw it. New location available. Forest. At this point, the tavern owner came back. Stop chatting. Come on, let's get to work. I'm coming. I'll look forward to your return. Good luck to you. And yep, uh, now it's nighttime. Um, a few other people have shown up here you can't really talk to them this guy will do a game with you i think i think it's like i can't remember if it's like a card game or or something like that uh she won't talk to you and i don't think he does except for like some specific moments or whatever uh so obviously you can see everything is now darker people are sleeping and whatnot so we need to head to the enchanted forest we can also hunt in the forest that's another aspect of the game we, uh, where you need to collect, like, hides from animals or uh, teeth or, or stuff like that. Um, and you have to go repeatedly hunting in the forest to get stuff like that. Typical RPG kind of stuff. Um, but I think we're going to end it off here. I did manage to so show a sex scene. Okay, I got to show something like that. So, um... We will probably keep playing another time. I don't know what the schedule is going to be for these games. Are these uploads? I suppose it really depends on how well it does, uh, if a lot of people watch, um, and how much time I have, because uh, I do have a day job. So, but anyways, uh, if you guys liked this let's play, this first video of Nightly Passions, uh, please consider subscribing because I will be uploading more. Uh, also, I will again try to find a place to upload the uncensored version, whether that be on OnlyFans or another site. I know Patreon has another site like Vimeo, I think, that you can upload stuff to. It's because, like, normally if I uploaded a video to Patreon, it would actually just be linking back to YouTube, and I doubt I could upload this to YouTube without worrying about my channel getting taken down. So, uh, there's that. I mean, maybe I could. I, I might have to check the rules on YouTube a little bit. Um... But even then, it would have to be linked to YouTube, so that's my concern. But with Vimeo, I think you can upload stuff like this to Vimeo and then link it back, but it costs money to upload to Vimeo, so that's a little bit of a concern for me. So, um, I'm probably just going to do it on OnlyFans if I can. If not, again, I will find, like, I'll put it in, like, a one of those, like, what, Google Drop things or whatever. I'll find a way to release it to you guys, but, yeah, I'll probably put it on OnlyFans or someplace where I can put this type of content so yeah uh anyways thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed sorry if i i'm a little long-winded when i'm trying to close out a video or introduce a video honestly um the next video like i said i don't know when i'll upload it but you know if you guys enjoy it i will definitely keep uploading more of these uh, thanks for watching i've already said that so uh take care